The Illinois House Redistricting Committee is in the process of drawing new congressional maps. Redistricting maps for state house and senate districts were drawn over the spring and summer. Legislators had under 24 hours to vote on them. Today, the committee hosted a hearing for public input on congressional redistricting. Shop Dr. Nash shows us why some are calling for a more transparent process. Every 10 years, Illinois redraws its congressional maps. Illinois is losing a House seat because of population loss in the 2020 census. The Illinois House Redistricting Committee holding a virtual hearing Thursday to get feedback from the Peoria area about the process. We know this is something that uh, people are very concerned about and, and would like to know what's going to happen. The president of Kiwani League of Women Voters, a group that has been involved in the Illinois redistricting process since the 1990s, says the redistricting process for the state's House and Senate during the summer was lacking in ensuring equity and transparency. Illinois must adopt a redistricting process that is more accessible, equitable, and transparent, and accountable to the people. State Rep Tim Butler says Republicans support an independent commission, but Democratic House Deputy Majority Leader Jahan Gordon Booth says ultimately maps the map making process it is a political process my guess is it probably won't be too much different than what it is right now butler says they are waiting on the democrats to produce a map proposal i really hope that the that the democrats put a map out there soon they have the ability to pa pa pass a map on their own with the numbers they have he says there is another hearing friday in edwardsville and the public can submit comments online on the illinois house democrats redistricting website in peoria shabnam danesh wmbd news